Welcome back. My name is Jason Lowry and today I'm going to make a mallet. I don't have a plan for it, I'm just going to wing it, uh, but I'm going to try to do everything on the lathe. Hope you enjoy. I picked up this peak of, peak of, piece of laminated oak from Lowe's. So I'll use, I'll chop off most of this, take a handle out of this section and the head out of this top section here. Let's see how it turns out. We're going to mark the centers on this. Mount it between centers and then rough it down and then I'll take measurements and figure out exactly how I want to lay this mallet out out of this blank. Well, I got a little ahead of myself. Now that I've turned this down, I realize it probably would have been best if I pre-drilled my hole here so that when I create a tenon, I can part this off and glue this being the handle and the tenon in this section. I could glue it in there. Now I'm going to have to kind of eyeball the center. We'll see how it goes. It may be the most off-centered mallet you've ever seen. So at this point it looks like I'm going to make a four, four and a half inch mallet. And then an inch long tenon. And then my handle will be down here. Okay, I cut this tenon to an inch, and I'll use an inch wide Forstner bit to drill into the mallet. Probably makes sense to do a little more planning. I'm going to have the marks from my drive center over here so I'm going to need to part this down and create a new edge which was going to, it's going to change the the size of the head slightly but it has to be done just to get rid of those holes quick sanding. This doesn't have to be a pretty piece, it's going to get dinged up, but do some sanding with a little bit of paste wax and mineral oil. Watch Carl Jacobson do this and if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me.
part this off right here and then drill drill the hole into the side of the mallet so I can glue this tenon in. Well, it'd been much easier if I would have done that on the drill press prior, but it seems fairly centered. And we'll see what it looks like once we get this tenon glued in. Here are the pieces, this will fit in like that. I still need to sand the nubs down here and then I'll show you the assembled product. Game plans are important. I tried to tackle this without a game plan and was able to make it work. I think I would have had a better result if I would have mapped it out first. I can tell it's slightly off center but end result is I can still whack something with it. So if I do this again, or if you'd like to do it, pre-drill the hole. That way you can ensure your tenon is mounted into a straight and centered mortise. Thus won't have a cattywampus, I don't know if that's a Texas term or not, but a cattywampus mallet. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Share if you feel up to it, and have a good day.